Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Week 8 Hello guys! Welcome to Sir Vijay's Math Class! Today, we're going to talk about Dividing decimals up to 4 decimal places by 10th, 100th, and 1000th But before that, let's have first a short drill Give the product of the following Number 1, 2 times 10 What is the answer? The answer is 120 Next Number 2, 20 times 10 What is the answer? The answer is 200 Number 3 32 times 10 What is the answer? The answer is 320 Number 4 55 times 10 What is the answer? The answer is 550 Number 5 200 times 10 What is the answer? The answer is 2,000 Now, let us observe the following number sentences Observe the following numbers 35 and 6 tenths divided by 10 is equals to 356 Next, 35 and 6 tenths divided by 100 is equals to 3560 And 35 and 6 tenths divided by 1000 The answer is 35600 Observe the given numbers Let us study on how to get the answer easily 35 and 6 tenths divided by 10 We have one decimal point in our divisor So we need to move one place to the right in our dividend So one move to the right in our dividend So it will become 356 divided by 10 so the answer here will become a whole number So it will become 356 Next, 35 and 6 tenths divided by 100 Again, in our divisor we have two decimal places So we need to move two decimal places to the right for our dividend So move one place and another one And then write zero so it will become 3560 So the answer here is 3560 Next, 35 and 6 tenths divided by 1000 Again, look at our divisor We have 3 decimal places in our divisor So we need to move our dividend 3 places to the right So let us do this now One. 2 and 3 So now let us put 0 and another 1 So it will become 
35,600. So the answer here now is 35,600. Let's have more examples. 52 and 3 tenths divided by 100. What is the answer? The answer here is 5,230. Next, 67 and 18 hundredths divided by 10. What is the answer? The answer is 671 and 8 tenths. Next, 78 and 645 thousandths divided by 1,000. What is the answer? The answer is 78,645. What do you observe in the number pattern? What can you derive out of it? When dividing by tenth, hundred, thousand, just simply move the decimal point to the right as many times as the number of decimal places of the number in the dividend. Tell if the following statements is true or false. Number 1. The quotient of 16 and 8 tenths divided by 100 is 1680. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Next, if you divide 98 and 74 hundredths by 1000, you get the quotient of 9874. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Next, the quotient you get in dividing 358 thousandths by tenth is 35 and 8 tenths. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Next, 148 is the quotient when you divide 1 and 48 hundredths divided by 100. Is it true or false? The answer is true. And for the last, the result of dividing 6 and 6 hundredths by 10 is 60 and 6 tenths. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Find the quotient. Number 1, 13 and 72 hundredths divided by 10. Number 2, 4 and 84 hundredths divided by 1,000. Number 3, 8 and 82 hundredths divided by 100. Number 4, 4,578 ten thousandths divided by 10. And number 5, 6,758 ten thousandths divided by 
hundred. You may start. The answer for number one is 137 and two tenths. Number two, 4,840. Number three, 882. Number four, four and five hundred seventy-eight thousandths. Number five, 67 and 58 hundredths. Now, let us summarize the lesson. How do we divide decimals of the four decimal places by tenth, hundred, and thousand? When dividing by tenth, hundred, thousand, move the decimal point to the right as many times as the number of the decimal places of the number in the dividend. Now, let's have an exercise. Find the quotient of the following decimals and solve for the end. You may write your answer on your notebook. Number 1, 42 and 84 hundredths divided by 100 equals N. Number 2, 40 and 32 hundredths divided by thousands equals N. Number 3, 66 and 75 hundredths divided by 100 equals N. Number 4, 79 and 99 hundredths divided by thousands equals N. And number 5, 98 and 56 hundredths divided by 10 equals N. You may now start. The answer for number 1 is 4,284. Number 2, 40,320. Number 3, 6,675. Number 4, 79,990. And number 5, 985 and 6 tenths. Now, let's have your final activity. You may write your answer on a piece of paper, have a screenshot, and send it for checking. You need to complete the table, divide each factor by tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. You may now start. I hope you learned something today. Goodbye! Salamat!